So guys, now how do you fix the problem when the screen recording doesn't work on your iPhone and, and you wouldn't even think how many possible causes are for this, so let's just jump right into it. One of the problems is that you, for example, get the countdown from 3 to 1 and literally nothing happens. And this could be caused, for example, by not having enough storage. So if you go to your settings and then go to the uh, general section, so you can see here is the general and click on the iPhone storage section, you wait a bit and it just shows you how much storage you have left. In the case that you don't have almost anything left, then it could be kind of a big problem to be honest. Because it of course, if you like shoot a video or whatever file you create on your iPhone, it has to be stored somewhere. So if you don't have enough storage, then it's such a big problem. But it could be much bigger problem than that. Because it can happen that your iPhone even breaks or becomes useless because of this issue. Because uh, the iPhone could literally just screen record to such a point, even if the storage is full, to like uh, not be able to save the file or to fill up the storage to such a degree that some basic functions wouldn't even have enough storage to like operate. Yeah, iOS is kind of smart, so it's not going to happen probably, but but technically it, it is something that could theoretically happen. So yeah, make sure you have at least enough storage to, if you want to like plan on uh, creating a video or a screen recording or a screen. But uh, this was of course just one possible reason. Uh, another thing would be that you don't have it chosen for a the camera roll. It means that you simply like a start a video recording of the screen you just stop it and it doesn't save to your photos because it's chosen to do so I mean something else. So of course go to the control center and I assume that you already have the toggle in here for the, the screen recording otherwise it wouldn't work for you. Anyways you can hold down on it and now if you don't have the photos selected but something else then it may be a bit more problematic because we most likely want to store the screen recording in the photos not on discord or something or facebook just make sure that it is chosen to photos and that way it just gets saved to where it's supposed to be saved in your photos in your gallery since we are already here you may have a problem with the microphone as well so turn it on or off depending on how you want it so that's not like a big deal or anything another possible problem could be that uh, your content restrictions don't allow it. So yeah, just like you go to these settings and uh, as we were in the storage, we come back and if you go to the screen time section, click on content and privacy restrictions, you can see that you can have some sort of restrictions enabled. So if you click on content restrictions one more time, it just loads up and here at the bottom is screen recording. So it's either chosen to be allowed or not allowed. If you don't have it enabled, like if it doesn't work, then you're not going to be able to like screen record because you can see that it just doesn't work. It doesn't work when AirPlay, CarPlay restrictions or screen mirroring is active. So of course, these are again, as we're getting to it, uh, other reasons why it may not work because if you have are connected to some kind of TV or monitor or if you're connected to a car and you're like screen recording a car play or something it doesn't work so apparently you have to disconnect from all these devices like all these external monitors and stuff before you can actually use it so yeah let me just come back to the uh, to the settings and allow it for myself another reason would be or another reason why a screen recording doesn't work for you is because you're trying to record some things which you don't have permission to like if you're trying to record some kind of streaming service or like a movie or something it's just not possible the software is gonna stop you from doing that so you cannot just open up Netflix and start recording in like entire episode of a TV series or something and it doesn't work that way you're just not allowed to do that and the screen recording will technically be saved and it will work but the screen is gonna be black it's just gonna be not usable and that could be the reason why it doesn't work for you or why you don't know what's really going on so yeah make sure you only record the stuff like your home screen and things you actually can so you can see if it really works or not Another tip I would have for you in case you're starting to like screen record, you don't have to like if you click it, you don't have to wait until it just goes like this. You can just come back to the home screen and the screen recording starts in here. So if you have your uh, if you have 14 Pro, you can see it in the dynamic island. 
but if not you can see it is as a red background behind it at the time on any other device so that's just how it works of course um, just make sure to just always turn it off and it's just gonna be saved you can see recording saved to photos this is how it's supposed to work so make sure that you get to this stage where you can actually save it in the photos you can look it up there it's like a regular video saved in your gallery also uh, one more tip i have for you is um, i mean don't go to the app store and try to look up some sort of screen recorders because it used to be a thing before Apple added it officially to the iOS. There were like uh, options which you could download, not even from the App Store. But I wouldn't advise you to look for any third-party alternatives because the built-in screen recording, once you figure it out to make sure to, that it works properly, it's definitely the best option. It's integrated the best way into the iOS. So don't look up any this kind of stuff. Like, yeah, it works through the built-in iOS, but don't just try to download any third-party apps if you don't really need to. And then we have only the basic troubleshooting options, like to hold down on the lower hub power on the power button and the, the lower volume button, to restart the iPhone, to turn it off, reset at the settings perhaps, or to update to the latest version of the iOS, because it definitely helps a lot of times. So just make sure that you go to the software update that you have installed at the latest version, and it just has to tell you that your iOS is up to date, because a lot of times it's a software feature or like an issue which gets resolved in a software update so make sure to update the latest ios and most of the times it's just gonna fix the problem for you so that would be about it hope the video helped you out and hope at least one tip uh, helped you out and fixed the problem for you for more content like this make sure to subscribe to fox tech and also check out the next video right here which i think you're gonna find it very helpful thanks a lot for watching and see you guys later